James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is June 26, 2023, 1.30 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've just had a large Earth-facing solar flare. NASA's calling it M1.6. And we can see here it's also an M1.61 here on NOAA's X-ray flux satellite. Definitely Earth facing. I'm going to show you all something strange about this M flare in just a few seconds. Over to GOES Ultraviolet Imager 195 Angstroms. This is a bit freakish, but out of sunspot AR3340 up here, we can see what looks like right there the actual M flare. Now, up and above that, we have a new name sunspot 3351 right here that also flares at the exact same time. It's like a double flare all happening within the same couple of moments there on our sun. Now, we have seen this before, several sunspots igniting at once, but these are two solar flares. And I know that 3340 sent out a chronal mass ejection. We have to wait and see if this is a double whammy or not. But again, you can see the flares coming out of 3340, evidently, and then 3351 as well. There it is right there. Unbelievable. All right, over to our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center. You can see we were maintaining that sea flare, and there have been some spikes in that all day long. And as we get closer to real time here, we should be picking up that M flare. I don't know if that's it, but that's a very strong flare over the Bahamas, part, parts of North America, and even the t northern tip of South America. And that most definitely was the flare. Now it looks like one flare, but we did see two. One out of sunspot AR. 3340, the other out of the newly named sunspot AR3351. All right, taking a look at our sun. 3340 is here. It is beta gamma. It is the only complex sunspot on our star. We had a 40% chance of M flares, a 10% chance of X flares, which is pretty good today. And that was all based on 3340. Now we see that 3351 is also developing, and it was also active right around the same exact time that we saw the larger flare, or what I assume the larger flare was, occur on AR3340. Now, I assume that we have an inbound chronal mass ejection, or CME with that, definitely an Earth-facing sunspot, no matter which one you pick. And we can expect geomagnetic storms or disturbances here within 48 to 72 hours maximum. With that said, guys, let's take a last look at that. There she blows. The M1.61, according to NOAA, and the M1.6, according to NASA. God bless you and yours. Share and subscribe. Always remember, anything's possible. Bizarro world.